I'm Jill Scott, born on the 2nd of February 1987, and I used to be a professional English footballer, rocking the field as a midfielder. Here is my journey from the football field to the jungle throne. Who knew life could be this wild and wonderful? I grew up in Sunderland, Tyne and Weir. I had this passion for long distance running that was as fiery as a football match, and I ran for the Sunderland Harriers. I managed to snag the North of England under 13 cross-country title and even conquered the Junior Great North run. All this while I was also hustling on the football field, playing for the Bolden CA girls team. Picture this, I was just 13, standing at the crossroads of choosing between football and running. You know what I went with? Football, all the way. Future England teammates Steph Horton and Demi Stokes were right there with me, representing Bolden too. Our journey was so significant that in 2022, as part of the, Where Greatness is Made, campaign, they put up plaques at the club to honor our beginnings. Standing tall at 5 feet 11 inches, that's 1.81 meters, they've given me the nickname, Crouchy, a nod to the football legend Peter Crouch, who's also known for towering over his fellow players. I made the jump to Everton Ladies in July 2006, turning down an offer from Doncaster Rovers Bells along the way. That choice led me to my first match with Everton the next month, a tough 3-0 loss against Arsenal Ladies in the FA Women's Community Shield. After the 2007-08 season wrapped up, I picked up the FA Tesco Players Player of the Year award, against fierce competitor Alex Scott and Karen Carney from Arsenal. And in 2011, I proudly walked away with the title of FA International Player of the Year. During my run with Everton, I had some remarkable victories under my belt. I played a pivotal role in securing the FA Women's Premier League Cup and the FA Women's Cup, shining on both those final stages. It was a time of triumph and teamwork, and I'm proud to have been a part of it. But life is all about chapters, and my Everton story had an ending too. As the 2013 season came to a close, I made the decision to part ways with Everton. After leaving Everton, I signed a two-year deal with Manchester City. This move proved a good one, as I played my part in securing the Continental Cup trophy for Manchester City in 2014. In April 2015, I found myself in a tough spot. I received that infamous red card and a three-match ban for a headbutt on Arsenal's Jade Bailey. Yet, tempers flared during Manchester City's 1-0 defeat, and things got a bit heated. But let's fast forward to the 2017 FA Cup final, that's where the real magic happened. I had my moment to shine, scoring a crucial goal in a fantastic 4-1 victory against Birmingham City. It was a game that showcased the teamwork and determination that make football such an incredible sport. A little bit about my personal life, back in March 2020, I shared some amazing news, I got engaged to my partner Shelley Unit. It's been a journey filled with love and companionship, and I couldn't be happier to take this next step. And here's something that might surprise you. You can sometimes find me behind the counter at Box 2 Box Cough, as Shelley and I own this coffee shop nestled in Northenden, Manchester. In June 2022, I had the immense honor of being part of the England squad that triumphantly lifted the UEFA Women's Euro 2022 trophy. It was a monumental achievement, a testament to the hard work and dedication of our team. However, in August 2022, I decided to retire from the world of football. It wasn't an easy decision, but I knew it was time to close this chapter and embark on new adventures. Shortly after, I ventured into the 22nd series of, I'm a Celebrity, Get Me Out of Here, and guess what? I won, they crowned me the, Queen of the Jungle. I've had some incredible experiences as a pundit, lending my insights to both men's and women's matches. From analyzing England men's Euros qualifying clashes against Malta and North Macedonia to delving into the excitement of the UEFA Women's Champions League final, I've been right there in the midst of the action, sharing my perspective. It's a privilege to be part of these moments that help shape the game and empower women in sports.